Uh, well, I think, you know, correction typically has a bottoming process. So we've seen a lot of days up, a lot of days down here. So, I mean, anecdotally, my retail clients last week did panic a little bit. And I think when the retail... Good thing or bad thing? That's usually a good sign because yeah. they're usually a negative indicator. So I would think that could mark the bottom just because when people get panicky, especially retail investors, that's usually a very bullish sign. You, you think that the reason you're optimistic about things is because of earnings and because of the economy, correct? Yeah, I mean, I like to keep it simple. I'm from Philadelphia, we keep it really simple there. Um, I think that uh, earnings, you know, if you look at it, we had a great quarter for earnings. Almost eight out of 10 companies beat expectations. If you look at, you know, forward earnings for next, even next year look great. Economy came at 3.5% for GDP. I mean, it's kind of like the economy and profits are on a silver platter right now, and you have a market correction. So if I'm a buyer right now, it's like you've just gotten a gift from the gods. Sure. Ian, the, the big problem, though, is the market is forward trading, and we're worried about what is to come in the mm. next year. What, what do you think is happening in 2019 with the economy, with earnings? What, what are the, the worrying signs you see, or any signs of reassurance? Yeah, well, the growth is strong, but, you know, the three and a half that we just had probably can't be sustained. Earnings, 26% maybe this year for the S&P, but we're not going to get anything like that next year. It, you know, 10, 12, 14, that's kind of the numbers I'm looking for. 10, 12, 14 in a normal year yeah, would sound pretty good. Right. I mean, <laughs> it, 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 over two years, S&P earnings have risen by like nearly 40%. Right. And it, it's, it's very hard to be a bear on the market when you're looking at a 40% uplift in earnings in or two to, years. Or to think that the markets are overpriced if you're looking at a PE multiple Absolutely. of around 15, 15 and a half. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, earnings growth like this, it does wonders for PEs. Yeah. But, you know, then people are thinking, okay, that's now priced in, so what about about after that. Mm -hmm. And after that, people are thinking, you know, second half 1920, the Fed's still raising rates. They seem pretty determined, after all, to keep going. So maybe we're going to see the edge coming off of this growth. There's not so much fiscal stimulus next year. Maybe it's just time to take a little bit off the table. Wait a second. Are you comparing what we're in right now to potentially historically something like the late 1920s? Uh, That's no. a frightening thing. <laughs> no, definitely not. Okay. No, definitely not. You know, my idea of, of the end of this cycle is a mild bump rather than a nasty recession. Like, you know, I keep hearing it, we can't take another recession like 2008. Well, the next one's not going to be like 2008. Mm -hmm. the, there's no imbalances like that. So it'll be mild, it'll be, it'll be manageable, but it's going to happen at some point, and the market eventually has to look over the hill and see it coming.